Watch you guys got another video here for you on Nvidia control panel best settings for gaming performance. This is what you'll see on YouTube when you search for this sort of term. It's going to tell you that you can get huge FPS boosts, making bold claims that you can even go from 14 frames per second to 287 frames per second by using these Nvidia control panel tweaks. There is tons of them on here and they never get old and they constantly make new ones every single day. So I thought I'd make a video just to put this to the test and put it to rest once and for all. I already know what the answer's gonna be, but a lot of people seem to get confused and duped into thinking that this is gonna give you a massive performance boost on your computer. So first off, let's have a look at the Nvidia control panel. When you install your graphics drivers, they will be set to default settings just like this. So once it's all installed, you can open up the control panel and adjust the 3D settings, which is adjusting the image settings for your preview, manage 3D settings, configure surround, and a bunch of other things like changing your resolution and adjusting the desktop color settings and things like that. So this is what this is. So some people call it optimizing or whatever you want to make of it or performance boost tweaks, they're not going to do much. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some benchmarking software. Yes, it was made in 2013, but it will still give us a, a benchmark score of our default settings. I'm going to use exactly the same settings for our default settings, and then we'll run that test again and run it with some tweak settings. And we'll tweak it as best as we can to see whether there's a massive difference like these people claim. Now, again, I already know the answer to this question, but just to please the people that keep asking the same question over and over again on our Discord server or anywhere else in my comment section, saying that these tweaks do matter and they can really boost performance. So we'll see what happens when we do a run at default settings and then we do it with the advanced tweaks. So here we have the FPS settings. You can see 142.3. And the score is 5954 and you've got some minimum and maximum settings there. So let's go into the control panel here and find these hidden settings and we can then boost our performance and optimize our graphics card so we can get an extra 150 FPS or even more in some cases. So we're going to go in here and we're going to use all of the optimization settings and you can go in here and tweak these to whatever you like. But again, these are... Uh, preference uh, tweaks which means you would tweak this to your liking but a lot of these tweaks will suggest a lot of stuff like this and you can go in here and change the uh, image sharpening and things like that again this will affect the overall uh, look of the image if you reduce it again it's not going to look washed out but you will get a slight performance boost as they would say again performance we're going to stick all this on performance and we're going to go through here and we're going to turn this off because obviously we don't want any filtering and we don't want any FX AA on here. We're going to turn all this anti-aliasing off. And this is what people do. They turn off all the settings and you will get a little slight boost. So let's go ahead and we'll go in here and go to the CUDA cores GPU. And of course, make sure that's ticked. And what we're going to do here is turn everything to performance mode and turn off all of the uh, you know anti-aliasing and all those settings here. And again, this is going to give us that, you know, 300 FPS boost, as they would claim on the Internet. And of course, I'm being facetious, but, you know, let's move on and to some of these settings here. So I'm going to leave these as is. I'm going to move on down to some of the other settings that we have here and put these on to off. And we'll leave all this off here. Again, I'm going to put the low latency onto ultra because that will make a massive difference to my system and because we see words in here like performance and optimal power and you know ultimate performance people talk about all this stuff as if it's some sort of new holy grail stuff that they found and uh, you know they're the first ones to find it on the internet and they start tweaking their pcs but all this power plans and nvidia control panel has been around for years and you know there's there's not going to be that amount of difference from it you know it's really there to tweak your system to you know to your liking really but it's not going to do a massive amount of difference like people claim 
So power management mode, of course, we're going to want to put this on uh, preferred maximum performance to get the maximum performance out of our system so we can get that extra 300,000 uh, FPS. You know, so we're going to move on to the preferred rate here, leave this as is, and I think we're going down to shader cache and leave all this stuff here. Let's see what else we got here. Quality, we don't want it on quality, we want it on high performance. So let's get that on high performance as well. Get the most out of the system, as they would claim. And again, a lot of the stuff you see on YouTube about this sort of topic is absolute drivel. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, again, if it did, why don't they implement it straight out of the box when we install the drivers? Why would we have to go through all of this palaver to get the most out of it? So it's really, you're not going to see the amount of uh, difference what you're going to get in the thumbnail of those uh, images. So just bear that in mind when you see big, bold text, you know, showing fake results here uh, of FPS boosts. It's a lot of these channels that don't even show a before or after. And the reason for that is because they know you're not going to get that amount. It's just clickbait. And that's what they do. So it, and it gets high views because young kids want to get the most out of their systems. So let's go ahead and leave this as stock again. And we're going to just run this. And this will give us another uh, benchmark, which will be exactly what we did before. And there should be a massive difference in performance and a massive difference in in the actual FPS here. And I've speeded this process up and there is the results there. FPS 144.8. And they'll put them on the screen now. And as you can see, the default settings was 142.3. And the FPS on the tweak settings was 144.8. So we have two frames difference. And basically, that's in a margin of error. So if we run this again, we'll probably get a different result again. And let's look at the score there. We have 5,954 score for the default settings. And with all that tweaking, we've got 6,060. So there is a performance boost of six points. Uh, and again, if you run this again, that's probably within margin of error. Minimum FPS, 44.7 and 43.6. There is a difference there. But what is the difference is the actual FPS itself. Now, theoretically, you're supposed to run a benchmark three times with default settings and three times with tweak settings, and you would get an average, and this will give you your score. But there's no point running this three times on each because we don't see a massive difference between the two, which tells me I'll be wasting my time. So does that mean tweaking the NVIDIA control panel is a waste of time? No, it's there for uh, tweaking it to your preferences to get the most out of your GPU, whether you want to change the saturation or you want to change some settings in there. Maybe you want to put some anti-aliasing on to a certain setting and things like that. It's a preference thing. It's not going to give you 300 FPS boost. These people are manipulating the algorithm and trying to con people into thinking they're going to get a massive FPS by making changes to the NVIDIA control panel. And it's just not. It's as simple as that. And again, uh, if you want to run benchmarks, this is the most accurate way you're going to get of getting a figure like FPS because it's exactly identical every time. So if you're playing a game and you're trying to benchmark to see whether you're getting an improvement in an FPS, it has to be an identical scenario that you're doing to be able to see whether there is a frame boost. And simply, you're not going to be able to do that because there is different things happening every time you play a game. So you're not going to get an average of FPS like that. This is the way you'll get an accurate reading of FPS. You can see FPS there is 142.3, FPS 144.8, and the score doesn't lie. You get a little bit of a... A difference in score but that's within margin of error if you run it multiple times you'll get probably three four different scores each time on each uh, test you do and yes this software is old nowadays but if you want me to do it on a on a modern piece of software with some other benchmarking software let me know in the comment section below but the results will be the same they're not going to be much different because it's obviously given us a base score and obviously a tweak score there 
So I hope this sort of answers all your questions when it comes to NVIDIA control panel tweaking to get the best settings for your gaming. A lot of these uh, titles will be like that. And I'm going to put the title as this as well so people can see it and work out for themselves whether it's worth doing or not. And if you've got an old computer, you may want to tweak that and turn off some of the shading and some of anti-aliasing and things like that to get a bit more frames per second by doing things like that rather than actually, uh, you know, doing silly tweaks that don't do anything. And if you want to reset all of this, you can go back in here and change all of the settings back to default. There is a restore here. You can restore these back to default if you've been tweaking your system and you'll find it's not really doing anything. Again, uh, the choice is tightly yours. This control panel is here to customize the settings to your liking, and you can use whatever settings you prefer on your system. So you just make the tweaks to the what you want, uh, but you know you can't claim that it gives you 300 FPS more by doing these silly tweaks because that's just simply not the case. So if you want more FPS, buy yourself a bigger, better graphics card, and if you're suffering from micro stutters and input lag and all this sort of stuff, then maybe think about upgrading your PC to a more modern computer, and a lot of these problems will go away because I don't suffer from any of that stuff with my modern day system. And this is just a, an old i5 with, uh, you know, a 1660 Super. Anyway, I hope this one answers all your questions. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comments section below. Also, join our Discord server if you want to continue the conversation. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.